Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Nitro Racing League here on NASCAR Heat 4 on the Xbox One. Today we're going league racing at Michigan. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was actually a 13 driver uh, show up because we had uh, one of our old league owners show up for his home race here in Michigan uh, right before we went green. So uh, you see here the qualifying order. I qualified in the fifth position, so definitely a, a solid qualifying effort right, considering man. we haven't really had very good qualifying lately now, but we will get underway here in Michigan from the fifth starting position up on that front row. There you see our teammate Bryce in the 18 as well as the 42 of Christian. Obviously we had a bit of an incident with Christian in the last episode as we go down uh, into turns one on the inside of our affiliate uh, teammate of Jay, obviously one of my best friends here as we come through turns one and turns two up the inside of Christian. I should mention right off the bat, stage one here is 20 laps long. So stage one ends once we hit lap 21. Stage two ends once we hit lap 41 and the race ends once we hit lap 81, unless we get overtime, that's once again why I say there is extra laps there. It says 200 simply for overtime purposes if needed, so we don't obviously have a race get ended without a chance of overtime if that is what we need. But I can tell you right off the bat, this is easily one of the best races of the season and probably the best finish I've ever had in a league race. Now, as we go down into turns one behind the 31 here of a Combat. I don't know what his real name is, his first name, so I'm just going to keep calling him Combat for now as we come through at a turn two. We came through on lap three though, still running right behind him, but as we went down into turn three, actually getting up that inside a little bit there, as we came out of turn four, I was trying to follow him on the exit of the corner, but he kind of went up the track a little bit, so I just kind of decided to go with it here on the bottom, and then my teammate Bryce comes through uh, behind us to give us a nice shove down this front straightaway, so we would go through to take the lead here on lap four as we went down into turns one. The JGR squad was running pretty well in this race myself, Bryce, Matt uh, in the 20, Jay the affiliate, and then we had Andrew uh, in the 19, obviously. He was struggling a little bit in this race. Uh, and as you can see on lap 8, we were still leading, but behind us, someone went down all the way to the inside while the green flag stayed up because we still have that new rule where uh, it used to be one car with contact goes around, that would be a caution, but now it needs to be two cars that go around with contact uh, to bring out a caution. So it was myself, Matt in the 20, the 18 of Bryce here, all three JGR drivers battling it out three wide for the lead, actually, as we had a bit of a breakaway from that pack who had gotten together having a bit of an incident behind us. So obviously now we're just kind of battling it out here because we know we have uh, such a big gap. We can kind of have a little bit of fun now as Bryce goes to the lead, but I battle back on the outside as we come through turns two, uh, heading down this back straightaway. Matt just behind the 18, maybe going three wide up the middle as Bryce is all the way down on the apron as we go down this back straightaway. We clear Karma and then we would hang on for a moment, but we came through to a few laps later and Matt would go up the inside again on lap 10 now as we continued though to battle on the outside as it was still just us three uh, in a breakaway at this point as we went down this back straightaway side by side for the lead and then you can see behind us so there was a bit of an incident there uh, from the looks of it out of turns two that would bring out a caution here for the first time today in Michigan on the 10th lap so we came to the pit lane and got back going here on lap 12 hitting lap 13 and we fell down to P3 under the pit stops there as you saw Christian in the 42 did not get a great launch now as we start right behind our teammate of Bryce so obviously just kind of uh, wanting to just push him at this point now as you see behind us the 12 of Demon he like I said used to be the league owner he did a few races at the start of the season then he uh, gave up his league ownership and this was his first race back I'm not sure if he's going to keep coming back but certainly uh, he did a good job tonight or well last night in this race uh, he was certainly uh, race clean and respectful so it was nice to see as it come through turns one and two you see though uh, Matt went up the inside of the 18 uh, going down the back straight away at this point we had RJ aka Snakebite there in the one car on my inside as remember he won earlier this season at Bristol so he is locked in the playoffs as he actually got into my left here they're going into turn three but we all kept it straight but unfortunately that would end up uh, taking us all three wide Andrew moves up into the third position as we now drop down to the sixth position and on this front straightaway just had Matt Chaffee there in the 10 as we came through to cross the line but we would once again work our way back forwards go to the inside we got past uh, Matt and then we got past Andrew here. Then it was Matt Chaffee leading as the 31 of combat goes all the way down to the grass. So I just follow him there. I wasn't going to try and force the issue. So I was just kind of following. I wasn't trying to push the issue much in this race now as uh, the audio would actually go out because my batteries went out on my controller as I was racing. At this point, though, there was only two laps to go in the stage, which means no cautions can come. But we were approaching the final lap, and we have a rule where there's two laps to go, I think it is. You cannot have any cautions for any crashes now in the stage or at the end of the race. There's the 42, and someone else actually went crashing behind us on the inside wall. And like I said, no caution 
because we're approaching the final lap of this first stage here in Michigan. Now Andrew's going to go three wide up the middle between myself and Matt Chaffee. Now as the exit turns forward down this front straightaway, Matt in the 10, he kind of backed out of it or something. Now is it's going to be combat leading as we start the final lap here in stage one. And then we got Matt in the 20 giving me a big shove down into the corner now as we're going to try and look to the inside of combat. He kind of left the door open for me. For some reason, I was kind of surprised by that. And it allows me to get up the inside as we come through turns one. And out of turns two, we're going to be side by side with the 31 down the back straightaway. Half a lap to go or so here in this first stage. Karma is going to go three wide up the inside as we go down into turns three for the final time here in stage one. The 31 comes down on us a little bit there. And that actually forces me out of the situation. The 20 drifts up and we're going to go three wide up the inside on the exit of turn four on this final lap. And then we touch the apron and then we hit the 20. And then he goes spinning down and into the grass after more contact with the 31. And we cross the line to win the stage here in Michigan there as that was a mess there coming out of turn four. It's like I said, I clipped the apron and went up, hit Karma, and then unfortunately that hit him into the 31 as the 31 was already kind of drifting down a little bit there. So it was just a big mess, a racing deal, uh, obviously. And then uh, uh, at least it looked like the 31 was coming down, but I came up too. So none of us did anything wrong in my opinion. Uh, and then the 20 obviously got put in the grass because of it. But either way, we got back going here for the second stage. We went to the pant line for two cans of fuel and four tires and got back going here on lap 23. Keep in mind, stage two ends once we hit lap 41 here. Now, as it was Matt Chadway starting on the front row with myself, there's actually make a mistake going down under the apron in the corner, so I already knew that Matt should have the run down this back straightaway. Sure enough, he had help from the 31 of combat, and they would battle back side by side as we had help from Jay in the 95. Jay right now is right on that playoff line, and so is Matt Chaffee. They're both battling right now for that last spot in the playoffs to come through turns. So yeah, I was hoping that we could help Jay out here in this race, and you maybe if we get a chance at the end of this race, we would have a shot to help Jay out here uh, and get him a win and put him in the playoffs. We came to lap 26, and then the 42 has another issue behind us as we go down into turns one. It's a big crash behind us. Many cars flipping there. You saw at least two cars rolling. That would bring out a caution here on now lap 26. So obviously we get back going now on lap 27, uh, hitting lap 28 behind us. It was the 18. Obviously we came back to the pit lane. So it was the 18 of Bryce behind me. Andrew on the outside, and Jay was also on the outside. I thought about taking the outside on this restart, but I just kind of went against it. So we came through on lap 29 down the front straightaway now, and then the 31 of combat had actually gotten uh, to my inside now as it was still Bryce following me as it was, this was right here, just a really bad corner for myself as we come through out of turns two, having the momentum, but he comes up to cover my run. Now it's going down this back straightaway, just pushing the 31. 31 car uh, combat, certainly one of the better drivers in my opinion to race with and work with here in this league so far, and I think this is his rookie season too, if I'm not mistaken. Now as we come through turns Three. Uh, out of turns four, you see Matt gets to the inside of him as they exit the corner. So we're two by two right now from first through fourth. And we continued in this little battle now as it was Matt edging out the 31 as it come out of turns four. But then the 42 took the 18 three wide. And now we're three wide with the 18 and the three down the front straightaway now as we clear Bryce though. As we have a big draft here from the 31. And then Christian forced the 23 wide. So now they're going to go through uh, down into turns one with the 42 now up the inside of the 31. Going to take the lead here with 10 laps to go in the stage the three of MJ he drifts up a little bit there there's a little bit con a little bit of contact between himself and I as we get back to the outside of our JGR teammate of Matt at this point now as we get back up into P3 for a brief moment so now Christian out in front you know that a lot of subscribers probably don't like to see that right now after what happened last week in Bristol now is we're up the inside of combat at that point but we couldn't make the move work so we come to lap 34 just a little bit over six uh, laps to go at this point in the stage of 31 slides up into the wall on the exit of the corner and now he loses the lead myself and Christian are gonna be side by side for the lead here in Michigan as we go down towards turns three and then I just kind of let off a little bit into the corner and let him clear me because I didn't see a point in battling uh, still at this point so we get in behind him and I was actually working with him I started I'm sorry to disappoint some of you guys you probably want me to wreck him uh, but I was working with them so we come to lap 35 and I decided to deke left and then deke back to the right I knew he would try to cover it so I tried to see if I could make the outside work as we go down into turns three he drifts up the track a little bit there's where I lost the audio for the second time due to my controller shutting off but that was the last time it happened thankfully as you can see right up on my left hand side it was uh, Matt in the 20 able to get up alongside of me and now trying to take 
take P2 with just five laps to go here in the second stage. He's going down into turns one. The three gets into the mix as well, and then I get hit there by Matt as he either got hit by the three and pushed up, or he just kind of made a mistake himself. I couldn't really tell, but that obviously pushes me back down to P5 as Jay once again backed up in the mix. Jay has been able to get himself in the mix here, and periodic uh, portions in this race as we go down into turns three, and then I hit Jay in the right rear there, trying to get in behind him, but I had such a run. I hit him in the right rear instead, putting him on the apron. We both lose a bunch of time. I'm down to P7. This is like the worst we've done all race here in Michigan now as we come through to just the less than five laps to go at this point here on the stage, but once again, on lap 37 through turns one and two, we got back up the inside of Jay, we got up the inside of Bryce, and all of a sudden, we were battling back up inside the top five using that draft from the three up ahead, and then we passed Matt Chaffee as well to take P4 with now only two laps to go here in stage two. We get up the inside now of MJ through turns one and two, and we're going to climb back up into the second position here with about a lap and a half remaining there now as MJ just gets in just behind me now as you see the 42 and the 20, they're going all over the world here right now as we go down towards turns three, trying to use that draft the best I can. Now as the 42 was just trying to break the 20s draft, and obviously uh, in that happening, the 20s following the 42, so he's breaking the draft from me, so I had to follow him down the track as well as we exit turns four but Christian would come through to take the white flag here in stage two. Matt closing in though with that draft and I myself am closing in bringing the 18 with me but obviously if they don't really battle it out here on this final lap we're not going to get close enough to make a move as we come through turns one and two. You can see just how much ground we gain through the corner. The field light does come on there as they're going to drive all the way off the track here as we go down this back straightaway for the final time. Bryce just behind me. I decided to let him have that inside knowing that I could probably have the momentum on the exit of the corner as the 42 enters way too low. The 20 crosses them over. Now we're gaining big time on both of them as we exit turns where we're going to go to the outside of Christian as Matt leads the way coming through to the line. We're side by side with the 42 and at the line we get P3 in stage 2 as Matt hangs on for the stage victory there. As you saw the 42 it looked like he was trying to be defensive into turn 3. Unfortunately it just didn't work out for him as Matt was able to take advantage of his low entrance. So we came to the pit lane for two cans of field four tires haven't made an adjustment this whole race uh, and we would obviously get going for this now third and final stage to drop down one spot under the pit lane uh, down to P4s go down towards turn one uh, giving Christian a bit of a shot to the bumper there's go down into the corner there you see behind me the 31 of combat way up the track actually and turns one and two MJ has a pretty poor corner so that leaves now the inside open for myself to take the opportunity but I decided to just kind of stay up for a little bit but now at the end of lap 44 getting back to that inside lane uh, behind Bryce and obviously Karma or Matt drops down as well and Andrew is up in the mix. So we had all uh, the JGR cars in the top five other than our affiliate of Jay who was in like seventh or eighth at this point as we came through turns one and turns two. We clear the 42 and now we get to the outside of Bryce as we go down this back straightaway. I didn't feel like waiting around. I wanted to see what we could do obviously getting some more uh, practice for later in this race. I was expecting the late portion of this race to just be crazy. Now as Bryce went three wide in the middle behind us he dropped back a little bit there as Andrew gets up here into P2 at this point. Like I said he was struggling a lot this race. I think this is the most I've ever seen him struggle personally in a, a Nitro race now as the 42 gets into the back of me on lap 46 going through turn 3 and then he and the 3 are going to take us 3 wide there as there was not a lot of room on the inside at all but the 3 of MJ makes it work as we come through out of turns 4 down this front straightaway Christian's going to look to the outside of Andrew now they're going to be 3 wide in front of us down this front straightaway as we go down towards turns 1 so all of a sudden it just turned into a bit of a, a cluster here as we go down into turns 1 of the inside of the 42 Andrew backs out just a little bit more than the 42 did and now we still got Matt Chaffe on my inside we're still three wide up the middle there as you can see Andrew definitely struggling again at this point now as we're still three wide in the middle between now the 18 and still the 10 of Matt Chaffee as I finally back out of it as I saw an opportunity to back out of it going into turns three but we got back up to that outside lane using that trap we would fight our way back past Matt Chaffee the three of MJ we were back up inside the top five we got past the 42 of Christian for a brief moment of time but he got back to my inside through turns three and out of turns four now on lap 50. MJ with the run as well as he gets to my inside as we come through to cross the line down to P6 now. At this point there's a 42 gets turned head on into the wall and he goes flipping behind us now. The subscribers you all love to see that one I hope now as we go down towards turns one after last week <laughs> happened in Bristol I'm sure. Like I said a lot of you um, probably enjoyed that thoroughly right there. Now the 18 and the 42 just got together. None of it was intentional but we got back going once again 
on a restart at this point. I was in P6 only a couple laps later. And at this point, as we dropped down in behind Jay, at this point, as we went down towards turns one, it was Andrew leading for like the first time in this race. Him and Karma come together, and then Chafe and the Tornado spinning. Me and Jay split the middle. The caution came out once again, and this would obviously set us up for another restart here. We came to the pit lane. This time, we dropped down to what P7 in the line as we went through to start this restart here. Now, we're behind Demon there in P5. Like I said, he kind of certainly struggled a little bit in this race as well, but like I said, he was racing clean and respectful, so certainly could not complain. There you see the 47 of Blake the Bull. He, this is like his first race of the season. This is the first time I've seen him in a lot of seasons, actually, since like my rookie season or second season in the Nitro Racing League. Uh, but uh, now he's come through down this front straightaway. At this point, three wide again with Demon. And then you see the 42 going on the inside, the 47 of Blake as we're going out into turns one. Then you got Bryce in the 18 just behind me, but we would sort things out, get past Demon. We were running now P7 as we got him past the 47 as well. And then we pushed Bryce actually past our teammate of Matt there uh, with now just 20 laps to go here in Michigan. We came through on lap 62 going around the outside now of a Bryce as we exit turn two, heading down this back straightaway. And then the 31 of the 95 come together a little bit. Thankfully, we avoid it. And now the 31 of combat drops way back. Now as Bryce is still going to stick to my inside as we go down into turn three. Andrew at this point still leading us looking like, well, he might be able to hang on for the rest of this race and just kind of dominate now as we come to you out of turns four. Matt gets to my inside as well. And then we would fade in a little bit here. Now behind Jay and Bryce on lap 63, we get to the inside of Bryce, pass him. We get to the inside of Jay and pass him. I was trying to help Jay like I said, but it just that moment when I passed him there, it was just kind of an awkward situation. Uh, so I just had to pounce on the opportunity. Now as we're back up into the third position, as we go down into turns one of the inside for a brief moment of Matt in the 20, and we hang on to P3 now as uh, it's still Andrew leading at this point with less than 20 laps to go, but he loses a car on the back straight away out of turns two. He goes into the wall and a bunch of cars behind us go crashing. The 95 of J is the main culprit there crashing as we go down into turns three, and obviously that brings out a caution here late in Michigan. Now, I would take the lead on the pit lane. I decided to take the outside lane, though, on the restart because uh, Matt simply asked me to so we could get all JGR cars on the bottom. So, obviously, I decided to go with that plan and we would hang on to the lead. Now, we came through on lap 69. Nice. As we go down towards turns one, at this point, there was a bit of a separation. Everyone had kind of gotten uh, together again. So, it was just kind of myself, uh, Matt, and then you got the 3 and the 12 just in this group of 4 at this point. Is I did not want to lead at all right here because we barely, barely had enough fuel to get to the end at this point. So you see 12 laps of fuel in the car and there was 12 laps to go at this point in the race. So obviously I do not want to lead here in Michigan and now. So I decided we got to get in line behind someone like our teammate of Matt. I led a few laps and then it was decided uh, it was time to draft someone so I could save as much fuel as possible because I was confident that it would stay green to the end. And then we get the 31 of combat who got back up in the mix now. As everyone obviously drafting together, we're able to close in on myself and Matt and whatnot as we came through. Less than 10 laps to go at this point. As I was just continuing to draft. Eight laps to field. There were still eight laps to go. So it was definitely not a comfortable situation. On the end of lap 73, Dre uh, slices to my inside as I just kind of let him take the position. I was just hoping that we could see Jay end up in victory lane here within the next uh, seven, eight laps at this point. Now as we came through turns one, I completely mess up the entrance of the corner. So that just makes things great. Now as we come through out of turns two, Andrew to my inside and he actually gets loose. Hits me into the wall and now we lose a ton of time Matt Chaffee gets to the inside for three wide at this point now as we would battle back though up the inside of Matt Chaffee and RJ here on lap 74 trying to make up the ground that we just lost Rice up there in P5 and a bunch of JGR cars obviously up there in the mix as Jay was up there in P2 just behind Matt as we come through turns 1 and turns to P6 at this point and obviously we're saving a good chunk of fuel right now as Andrew gets loose on the exit of turn 2. Jay gets sideways or something. He hits the wall. Andrew's all the way down in the infield. He comes back on the track without wrecking the green flag. Stays out. Keep in mind when he hit like 2 laps to go the caution cutoff does happen. Now as the 31 came down just a little bit there into my right front but we all keep things good now as we're up in P4 and we're going to try and pass the 31 to take over the third position now with just uh, oh just barely over a handful of laps to go here in the stage Matt up ahead trying to break that draft not much, but not much of a point because we are so close together we're going to catch him anyways but then on lap 76 the 31 battle back up the inside through turns three and turns four as we exit the corner heading down this front straightaway so now with five laps to go we come through to just three laps to go 
Bryce gets put in the wall by the 20. We slice to the inside of Bryce now, approaching just two laps to go here in Michigan. The 31 gets into the back just a little bit there of Matt in the 20. And now Matt's on the apron to make contact with Bryce because I hit the back of the 31 and bounced up a little bit now as the 20 and the 31 come together. The 20 of Matt into the wall now, and that's going to take him out of it now as we hit two laps to go here in Michigan. We go to the outside of the 31. It's going to be a four-car dash here, likely, for the victory. Combat in the 31. Myself in the 11, obviously. The 10 of Matt Chaffee and the 18, my teammate of Bryce. That's maybe one advantage we have is we have a teammate to work with if necessary. The, the field light now comes on, but I can confirm the 31's field light was on well before ours and the 18's of Bryce's field light. He, his came on as well uh, quite a bit before mine. So that's one advantage we have approaching the final lap here in Michigan through turn three and out of turn four. Combat gets clear of me knowing that if I'm not able to get to his inside, I'm likely not going to be able to win this race now. As we come through down this front straightaway, we go back to the outside doing whatever I can as the white flag is now in the air here in Michigan. Bryce just behind us, Matt Chaffee lurking down there in the fourth position as we go down into turns one and two side by side for the final time as now the 31 clears me. Bryce just behind us. If something happens, he will be in prime position to make a move. Now as we're down this back straightaway for the final time, we're going to go all the way off the track to get to the inside of the 31 here on this final lap in Michigan as we go down into turns three. A little bit of contact between myself and combat the 31. We both drift off the track and now Bryce is going to hop on the opportunity three wide for the win as we exit turns four and it's combat on the outside. Bryce on the inside and then Bryce runs out of field coming to the line and so does the 31 and we win in Michigan somehow here. What a finish. Easily the best finish I've ever had in a league race here in Nitro. The, uh, I've had a lot of league races, but that one uh, tops the charts. What a battle there coming to the line there as we drove all the way off the track to get to the inside of combat there in the 31. We touched just a little bit going into turn three. Obviously, he was doing everything he could uh, to block me, but she should have done. Uh, and uh, we just tapped a little bit. We both went up the track, and then uh, the Bryce got to the inside, and what a finish it was. And there you see the point standings after uh, that race. Karma obviously locked in the playoffs with a win at Auto Club, but there you see it. We got five wins now this season, so uh, that will do it, obviously, for this episode. And the next one, we actually go to Atlanta, so we'll see how that one goes. It's going to be full throttle around there. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. But I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day.